all, congratulations on, on a great win and pretty much a bizarre evening here. Uh, wow. A lot of weird stuff was going on yeah, out there, really even really before the rain came. But uh, the one thing that I know, you know, I'm very impressed with you guys, well prepared for Humble Summer's Off. Yeah, I, I mean, when we, Chris got good. Idea. We we seen things on tape, but you know, it's the kids got to do the job. You know, our our kids came hard to play. I mean, we we seen some of the things they were doing. We tried to defense them, you know, and you know, really, really when you, you go back on it, every bounce kind of went our way. I mean, we go to double punt, uh, you know, bounces going into our hands, you know, and, and the kids. I mean, they they, they just a great job. And my coaching staff prepared them well. And, you know, after last week, you never know what's going to happen. I mean, we, we were down in the dumps, and tonight kind of brought us up. And, you know, when defense plays well and we, we play as a team, you know, things work out for you. Well, you, you certainly did that. And I, I thought your uh, both Kyle Silk and Hunter Cameron ran extremely hard. They were breaking tackles. I know Ben Bay is not happy with the tackle, but they were running hard. They helped you guys possess the ball, which I felt was another key that you kept the ball away from them. And that's, you know, and, and, and that's what we talk about, Ward. I mean, your, your best defense is your offense. I mean, if you can keep the ball out of their hands, it can help you. You know, and tonight, you know, we, we did a lot of positive things in offense. You know, we got some drives. You know, early on, we kept telling our kids, you know, the first few games, they wanted those big splash plays. You could get 70 yards, you know, put the defense back out. We said, if we're patient, you just keep grinding it. You know, it's, it's my style of football. I like to just grind it out, and, you know, we – we made some plays when we had to, and it, you know it was a great team effort and a team win. Well, it was backyard football there in that fourth quarter. Three guys on one side, run to that side. That's what we used to play in the backyard. Yeah. That's what you guys did. No risk in and that. that. And yeah. with the kind of runners you had, it worked. I mean, to Homer's credit, they were able to stop that eventually, but you were able to pick up a couple of first downs, use clock. Well, yeah, well, yeah. yeah and, you know, and that's what you got to do. You, you got to try to work the block. I know I get on the offensive board there. He was trying to get plays in too quick, and you know, we, we, we slowed it down. But you know, we we call that those beast formation. We we just try to line up and get them. I mean, some teams take it away, but for the most part, that that formation works well on a night like this. You know, it's it's, it's a low risk thing, and just get it. I mean, it's like you, you know me, Lord. I've been at it a long time. If I can run football and get that power of football, that's what I like. Well, like I said, if anybody's going to turn that place around, it would be you. And I'll tell you honestly, watching your kids after that win, I think it's going to have a real positive impact. Not only on your team, but through the school that maybe some of these guys that haven't been coming out are going to come out. I mean, it, it, it's hard to say. I mean, we, our kids are excited now. You know, and I, I think the community is excited, you know, when things aren't going well. You know, big people don't believe in it, but, you know, if they see him tonight and our kids, it, it's, it's just it was one of those one of those nights that the, the kids wanted it. I mean, you know, Kyle and Hunter, they ran possessed, you know, the offensive line did what they had to. And when I mean, you've got kids believing in what you want and believing in the system, it, it'll work. Ward, if I can ask Coach Marabito, I had the chance to visit his walkthrough practice yesterday. Number one, I was impressed with the energy from start to finish, Coach, and I just sensed when we were concluding the interview and practice had concluded that there was a little bit of sense of urgency on your team that you really needed this one. Did I read you right? Yes. I mean, we, we told them all along. I mean, it, this, this is a pivotal game. If, if we drop that, you know, you, you could be starting at one and nine. You know, we, we told them. I mean, last week was a disappointment for us, and it, it was a gut check. Fine. I mean, we, we tell them there's two ways you can go. You, you can either start climbing that ladder again, or you, you can be satisfied where you were. You know, and I, I'm glad to see our kids took the other road, and, you know, with the energy we had. And we overall, we had a great week of practice. And I'm one of those superstitious guys that, Sometimes when you look too good, you, you don't look good on Friday night, but really it did carry over for us tonight. Well, Coach, I wish you well the rest of the way. Uh, you got two of the big guys out of your way, including uh, this one here tonight. So yeah. hopefully well, things turn for you. Maybe well, we'll be talking to you down the road. Huh? Just say, well, we, we just got to keep it one, you know, one week at a time, one game at a time, and see what happens. And if our kids play with that type of energy they did tonight, you know, good things could happen for us. Well, thanks for your time. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you.